Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, we're doing this history lesson. All right. Anyway, so uh, I don't know if that <laughs> let us know who would be winning this, uh, but these two players. Hmm. Now, who do you think is favored between the two of them? Because I know that Jewel. Jewel. Has, Jewel? No hesitation whatsoever. Um, yeah, I, I, Jewel will probably get, go down with this match pretty easily, in my opinion. Uh, Red Lion does have the potential to get some crazy upsets, though. He's, <laughs> he's gotten upset on John Numbers in the past. <laughs> That's so, a legend. Yeah, and also, when you get explosive things like that, like, Roy's a character you're just going to have to respect the mash from, because, like, this character wants to get in your face and do tons of damage. His sword does more knockback and more damage the closer he is to the opponent. So he wants to get right in his face, connect Ooh. the forward tilt, send him flying. That. And he has Levin Sword. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, meanwhile, you got Jewel playing the Robin, the <laughs> gold variant. Uh, Robin's entire game plan is like he wants to like set up like a zone a bit before trying to get in there and play a little bit aggressive because if you just go the straight sword for sword battle, he's going to have a hell of a time against Roy. Yeah, and that is one thing that Robin in general can kind of struggle against that pressure, that mm -hmm. aggression. Doesn't have many great get off me options, and Roy is a character that just stays on you. Uh, so it seems like the matchup in general is going to be difficult, and you know, we were sort of dismissing Redline at the beginning, but he has a fire in him, and that is what we're seeing right now. Still surviving that forward air. <gasps> oh, but not going to survive that one. Yeah, uh, Still two stocks to one, though. Yeah, hit him with the uh, arc fire, which is, uh, goes like, like as it's called, winning an arc right in front of him, set him up perfectly for that forward air. Ooh, good setup. Now, you'll notice that the sound effects sound super hard. That means he's getting the sweet spot on those hits, too. So, if there's anything Redline's really good at doing is getting in his opponent's face, you know? Oh, I like the idea of going for Nosferatu. Uh, kind of because, <laughs> like, he needs healing right now. <laughs> he's already taken 92% on his last stock against a Roy. If he was able to heal, you know, a sizable chunk of that, it could have been really good for him because as it stands, this game one is oh, just feels out of reach. Oh, but let's not forget, he can edge guard him. Yes. Even though Roy's recovery is technically better than Krom's, it's still not the greatest in the world. It's oh. good on. Oh, Ooh. still gonna live 150%, but he's off stage against Roy. This seems like the most baby hit to finish off the stock. He's gonna be fishing for these forward tilts, which are super safe on shield from a distance. There you go, Nosferatu, heal some of that health. You said healer needed. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Oh. Jewel, gonna respect the double edged dance. Now, one thing about. I uh, know Sprout was actually coming into play. Uh, but one thing about Redline is he has always kind of had a bit of an issue oh. with mentality. And if he was up by so much, and now it's an even game, it's just an even game here. He needs to get his head back into it if he wants to actually close it out. That might be it. He needs to finish the job. Keeps up stage positioning. He's off stage at 158%. Redline looking. Finishes off. Catches. Oh, <gasps> and that was a free F smash. Hold on. Spaghetti dropping all over the place. Up there, not going to be able to get the kill. Yes, yes. Still sitting at 172%. Doesn't want to try to challenge the forward tilt. Just opts to go for the jump instead. Super safe move. Neutral B. Look out for the 80%. Oh, that might be point oh. blank arc thunder. Not going to be able to get the kill just yet. Looking for that neutral air. And there it is, the back air, finally. Oh, my. <sighs> so there was something on my mind that entire, like, last 30 second sequence, but I didn't want to bring it up until the match ended. There was a moment where Jewel could have won that game, and he had a tech flub. I don't know if you noticed. He ran off stage and went super low when he was hanging on the ledge. I think he was trying to go for a trump into back air, which would have killed because he was just hanging on the ledge. That would have been the entire game, but because he missed the trump, we had to like see that like the whole last 30 second sequence. So uh, Jewel definitely probably thinking about that. You know the thing, even though Redline managed to win that game, it feels like the momentum is gone. Even though we managed to close it out because of the fact that the first half was so dominant and the second half was so close, it, at the, it, I think a part of it might be that, you know, uh, Jewel has adapted and starting to figure out what Redline does, but also just, Having even like it's like yes you didn't lose the game but it's not you didn't win it in the way they would have liked. <laughs> oh. There we go. Throwing us some more arc fires. Just keeping it. This is Jewel like ad adapting at the best. Like it just took him a couple stocks. I mean that's like the beauty of playing a character like Roy is that like he's really good at just like stealing stocks in the beginning and just like overpowering you. But eventually like learn the patterns and stuff, which is Jewel starting to do here. 
could easily turn this into this, like, this is why we do a best two of three, you know? It allows you to be able to do stuff like this. Yeah, and you can see a couple of those adaptations. The key ones, the parrying. The mm. fact that in a, yeah, Roy can be a little bit predictable in how he comes down, you know? His hitboxes aren't necessarily the greatest. They don't last that long, so he has to be careful with his positioning. And that means if you're prepared for it, you can just parry it. Nothing is safe on parry. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, back on stage. Now, I remember in the beginning of this uh, set, you asked me if you thought I was going to win. I'm still holding on to Jewel. Like, I was not phased whatsoever, even though he lost game one. Like, he... Uh, I will not be shocked that Jewel wins this whole set. But remember that Redline is such a momentum fiend mm -hmm. that all he needs is another big burst of energy, and he could get another two-stock swing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. He's looking like he's out of coal right now, 72% off stage with a huge stock deficit. Meanwhile, I got Jewel just trying to get that uh, arc fire recharged. As the book wants to slap him with the Levin Sword. Oh. And Redline going a little too ham off stage to try to guarantee that kill, and instead kills himself in the process. As Ding is second stock. Well, we saw Jewel almost make a comeback from the deficit before. Uh, don't necessarily know if Redline's going to be able to manage something like that. He does have game three to work with, but. Just the trend. It, like, winning game two is more important than winning game one, ironically. Even though, yes, he does have counter pick advantage, uh, the momentum for him is just, it does seem like Jewel has made adaptations in disadvantage, in advantage, in neutral. The overall game plan has just been so much cleaner, so much more effective against the way Redline wants to play. And again, Arc Thunder, just a really good move for being able to catch opponent's landings. Gets the conversion off of the back air. Not enough to get the kill just yet. We're seeing Sparks fly a second time. That's going to solidify his second game. Going into the final one here. Jewel, great adaptation. Said he has a, a two-stock victory over Redline. My man is not feeling phased whatsoever by this rushdown game. And it looks like we're getting a run back. Oh, are we getting a run back? Start the battle. Gonna have battlefields for game three. Uh, it's a little bit curious to me. Battlefield does have the largest blast zones, and one of the only problems he had game one was closing out the stock. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess having those platforms might make it easier for him Battlefield to get back down to is, the ground. It's probably Roy's best stage. Uh, Battlefield, again, like, like I said, it's very similar to Ike. Triplats are like the best stages for sorties. One, one of the best stages out there. Again, he gets a lot off of just being able to chase after his opponent on the platforms. Small stages gives uh, his opponent less room to run away, especially with a character like Robin, who is thriving off of Pokemon Stadium 2 with all the room to be able to charge his attacks. Now there's going to be less room for him to try to run away and escape. Now let's get it. Good jab. 18%. I like these up tilts right here. Redline was just playing extremely patient right there. Didn't want to like try to, you know, press I the issue. I, honestly, I think that's such a good call out from the change in Redline's play style. You know, the idea is that you want to adapt to what your opponent does, and Redline is starting to do that. Are you it's, sure? No, just, no, I was gonna say Jewel is one step ahead. Okay. Oh, I was yeah. leading oh, to that. Okay. That, he okay. Was, <laughs> that like, because the thing is, he's not doing the same thing he was yeah. game two. He's changing it up, but it still is the right answer. Gotcha. Yeah. That was, okay. That was I zero see dead. What's in front of me. Yeah, okay. There you go. <laughs> My man was getting smackaroned. Okay, eighty-five percent dash Chocolate attack. Smackaroon. Mm -hmm. Getting a lot of distance off of that L win. So check out. So this is another thing that uh, Jewel's trying to bring into his repertoire, is because it is a small stage. You notice he's charging his attacks off stage instead. Good chase. Uh, Learning the. Death? No, he saved his double jump, but that's that a good is. call out coming from Redline. You saw him just run off stage, go for the forward air. Some might dare to call it the left end, but I call it the just run off and forward air. <laughs> like, it, it's nothing new. <laughs> oh, they swung in different directions. 22%. This is. This stock can be dropped at any moment mm. from Redline, but he does also have a lot of rage, and Roy has damage output. He has the ability to rush down, so. If he manages to make up, like, if he gets, like, him, if he gets to, to like, 90% or so before actually losing this stock, it's still a pretty even game. Oh! You know, just gets hit by the arc fire. Jewel didn't recognize in time to try to, like, get that uh, follow up. Wow. Getting a lot of those for He's starting to pick up on Redline's habit of holding shield. 
whenever he feels scared there. And then Nosferatu is a command grab. can go right through it. And he's healing himself for a lot in the process. Yeah, it is a very rewarding command grab, Ooh. especially when you're in this position. Can you talk about that sick combo for a second? Arc fire, arc fire back here. Ooh. Ooh My this man is, is a combo. This what? is this is looking like a counter pick for Jewel, honestly. Like he is using these these drive plats to his advantage. Wow, and the item play right now. Playing dribble. Looks like an NBA player out okay, here. Okay, this edge guard is so key. And, and he doesn't even make it back. He went off a little too hard with that forward air. And Jules going to take that victory 2-1. to one. He's going to move on to the bracket. Guest appearance by Krom. There he is. I always find it's it so weird. weird that he's still in that yeah, victory. Yeah, I, I mean, it's like how Mario appears in Piranha Plants victory theme. You know, like, it's just all types of weird when you see uh, the guest characters coming out. But, yeah, good stuff to Jewel. Holding his composure, not letting game one phase him, and adapting correctly. Take home a 2-1 victory. That's not the first set that we've seen today where someone lost game one and then proceeded to lose the whole set. Or lose game one and then win the next two games. So...